Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Cakes by MK. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get nice smooth sides and sharp edges on a whipped cream cake. If you're new to my channel welcome and if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up below. Apart from that let's get right into this video. So the very first thing you want to do before building your cake is making sure that your cake layers are nice and flat, otherwise it's just going to be a lot harder to get those really nice sharp edges on the top of your cake. So to trim the tops I'm getting a serrated knife and holding it straight up against the cake at the height that I want to cut it, and I'm starting to make a cut into the cake as I turn the turntable. So my knife itself is staying in the same position and my turntable is what's turning the cake. Now once I get back to the initial cut that I made, I'm going to start slowly moving my knife towards the middle of the cake as I keep turning the turntable, and you'll know you're done when the top of your cake magically just slides off. Now as you've probably already noticed, my cake is a little extra brown on the outsides because I was being lazy and didn't prep my cake in properly, so I'm just going ahead and trimming some of those extra brown bits off. And now I'm just trimming off a really thin layer off the bottom. The cake itself isn't overbaked and is still super moist, so I didn't want to bake my cake layers all over again. I guess you can take this as a tip on how to save an overly browned cake. And now I'm just leveling the tops and cleaning up the sides and bottom of my other two cake layers that I'm going to be using as well. My cake layers actually baked up pretty flat, so I only needed to trim a really small amount off the top. Now for your whipped cream, you want to make sure it's really nice and super smooth. So I've got some non-dairy whipping cream here, if you're not quite sure what the difference between a dairy and non-dairy whipping cream is, or you want to know how I whipped up this super silky smooth cream, then I'll post a link to another video that I've done on this below. But yeah, you basically want to try and reduce the number of air bubbles in your whipped cream, and two ways to do this is to one, make sure you're not whipping your cream at too high of a speed, and two, you can also hand mix it after it's whipped up in a back and forth motion like I am here, and this will just help to smoothen everything out. Now to build your whipped cream cake, what you'll need is a cake board, so I'm just using an acrylic disc here for my cake. You'll also need an offset spatula, so an offset spatula has like a little dip before it extends out, and this just makes it a lot easier when it comes to decorating your cake. And then you'll also need a cake scraper, so I've got a steel cake scraper here, you can actually get so many different types. Mine has a nice kind of handle in it, but yeah, any material is fine. Now you want to start off with crumb coating your cake, and this is going to prevent crumbs from reaching your outer layer of cream. So I'm just using my offset spatula to put a bit of whipped cream in the middle of my cake board, and this is going to help our cake stick to our cake board so it doesn't move around as we're building our cake. Now next I'm placing my first layer of cake onto my cake board and just making sure that that's in the middle. Next I'm placing a generous amount of whipped cream onto my cake layer and then I'm going to smooth it out. Now when smoothing it out I start by going in a back and forth motion from the top to the bottom to spread the cream out and this helps prevent my spatula from touching the actual cake and accidentally picking up any crumbs that might get into my cream. And then I'm just holding my spatula at a slight angle and turning my turntable which is smoothing everything out. Don't worry about the excess on the sides because we're going to use that later on. Now once that's done you just want to put your next cake layer on top and do the exact same thing. Then I'm placing my last cake layer on top and I'm going to start smoothing out a thin layer of cream on the top. Now with this top layer you want to flip it over so that the bottom of the cake layer is the top of your layer cake so that it's really nice and flat on the top. Now with your crumb coat it's good practice to scrape off any excess in a different bowl to your original batch in case you have any crumbs in your cream. I forget sometimes but yeah you don't want those crumbs getting into your nice batch of cream. Now once the top's smoothed out you want to start using the excess whipped cream to start covering the sides of your cake. Now if you've got some exposed cake simply get more whipped cream and cover up the rest of your cake. Now I'm just using my spatula to smooth everything out. And then to smooth the top I'm holding my spatula really straight and I'm pulling it into the cake as I turn the turntable. And this captures the excess buttercream on the top edges and just smoothens everything out. 
Now just remember to scrape your excess cream off before you go ahead and scrape the top of the cake again. Then I'm just doing one last smooth and then my crumb coat is all done. Now this cake is going to go into the fridge for about half an hour to help things firm up a little. Whipped cream doesn't really become hard like buttercream but it still helps to refrigerate it because it does firm up a little, making it easier to apply our final coat of cream which I am doing right now. So my cake is out of the fridge and I'm going to start off by adding a generous amount of cream on the top of my cake and smoothing that out. And now I'm going to place a thick layer of cream all around the edge of the cake. Now once that's done, you want to start scraping the whipped cream really gently with your cake scraper. Just remember that whipped cream is super soft and so you don't want to apply too much pressure when scraping, otherwise you're just going to take way too much of the whipped cream off. Now just remember to scrape off any excess cream before you scrape again. Now once you've scraped the outside a few times, you want to go ahead and start filling in any gaps with more cream and then smooth it out again until you have a nice smooth layer of whipped cream. So once the sides are smooth, you want to clean the top in the same way that we did with the crumb coat. So hold your spatula really straight and bring it into the cake as you turn the turntable. Now once that's done, I'm smoothing out the top again, and as I do this, you'll notice some excess cream building up around the sides of the cake. So I'm just smoothing the sides out again, and then cleaning up the top one last time. You may need to do this a few times until you're happy with the coverage on your cake. Now to smooth out the top, I'm placing my spatula directly down on the top of the cake, only applying like a featherweight of pressure and really gently smoothing out the top. Okay, and that is it. My cake is beautifully covered with whipped cream. Now I'm just finishing off by cleaning up the sides and then this cake is ready to decorate. So that is it, that is how you get nice smooth sides and sharp edges on a whipped cream cake. If you'd like to check out some of my more in-depth courses and support cakes by MK then I will post a link to those courses below. But apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this and thanks again for watching Cakes by MK.